So, Yuzin, today you brought us a topic that personally I am very interested in these days. Mm. So, what are you going to cover today? Well, so I'm a very big fan of this topic as well. Mm. So, a few months ago, uh, I went on a business trip to New York, and during my time there, I kind of covered a story on the growing presence of Korean musicals abroad, which of course includes Broadway. And this is, of course, uh, thanks to the efforts and hard work of many people. But I found that one particular individual has reached some remarkable milestones this year. So first, take a look at my interview with him. Just like the lyrics, Shin Chun Su's career is roaring on. A trailblazer in Korean theater, he's the president and main producer of OD Company, one of the country's leading musical production companies. This year, he made history as the first Asian to serve as the sole lead producer of a Broadway musical. The Great Gatsby, a stage adaptation of F. Scott Fitzgerald's classic novel, has been running at the Broadway theater since April, grossing over a million dollars every week since its opening and even winning a Tony Award for Best Costume Design. And the momentum doesn't stop there. Next year, the production will make its West End debut. So what's the secret to crafting a musical that's set to perform at the world's two greatest theater capitals? The Great Gatsby is a timeless masterpiece with themes like the pursuit of love and struggles across social classes that feel so relevant today. We wanted the production to feel like one grand party, combining dazzling stage aesthetics with a powerful sense of tragedy. But Gatsby is just one chapter in Shin's career. Back at home, the beloved Korean production of Jekyll and Hyde is gearing up for its ninth season. Jekyll and Hyde helped me establish myself as a producer. At the time, it was seen as revolutionary bringing together fresh talent from actors and staff to producers. For this 20th anniversary production, we focused on every detail, crafting it as a gift, not just for the audience, but for ourselves as well. With a repertoire that includes hits like Grease, Sweeney Todd, Man of La Mancha, and Il Tenore, how does he decide which stories to bring to life? Classic literature has universal emotions that connect with everyone, and classic musicals have songs that leave a lasting impression. Sometimes I take risks with experimental works that push boundaries, but at the heart of it all is my commitment to creating high-quality productions for the audience. Shin also shared his vision for bringing Korean musicals to a broader audience. I remember being a British producer in 2001 who was surprised to hear Korean even had musicals. Now, with the growing cultural and economic influence, Korean musicals are gaining global attention. To keep growing, we must see the world as our stage and support young talent to create works with universal appeal. And he'll keep working hard to make this happen. My next goal is to stage a production with Korean actors performed in Korean. I believe musicals can transcend language, and this will showcase the talent of our actors and the excellence of Korean musicals. It's a decades-long passion that's driving Korean musicals to new heights on the world stage. So starting here in Korea and then heading to New York City and London, mm -hmm. so Broadway and now to the West End, I think uh, producer Shin, he's definitely a pioneer in Korean musical mm -hmm. uh, in the industry, but using for our international viewers and for those who are currently in the U.S. or in uh, the U.K. or m maybe will make a visit there, mm -hmm. how can they catch The Great Gatsby? Right, so starting from Broadway, Gatsby has been on an open run since April 25th. And if a show is on an open run, it means it doesn't have a set close date. So it keeps going as long as there is an audience eager to see it. Mm -hmm. So you can check the show's show schedule on its official website and you can book tickets either in person, online or by phone. And as for the West End premiere, Gatsby will start its preview run on April 11th next year and will have a five month limited run until September 7th. And you can book tickets at the link you are seeing below. Mm. So it's a little different from here in Korea where we usually do have a sketch mm -hmm. schedule, right? So, uh, Walter, you were going to say? Yeah, so we'll, we'll see if the West End version also becomes a sellout success. Right. But 
Uh, for musical fans in Korea, it sounds like there's plenty to look forward to uh, well, from what's left of the year and beyond as well. Hmm, you're absolutely right, because many say that Korea's musical lineup for the latter half of this year and next year is one of the best ever. That's because alongside Jekyll and Hyde, which you saw in my report, there's also the very first Korean production of Disney on Broadway's Aladdin the Musical. I think that you guys will be mentioning it in the latter half of the show. We will. So that's, that'll be running until next June. And there is also The Last Empress. It is a Korean musical celebrating its 30th anniversary with a new production starting in January. So I just want to tell our viewers, if you have plans to visit Korea soon, be sure to add a musical to your itinerary. Great tip, Yuzin. And you know, um, I liked how the producer, producer Shin or President Shin mentioned mm -hmm. how language doesn't really seem to matter in, you know, uh, right. expanding into the world. So mm -hmm. I really hope that we are actually going to see Korean language, Korean musicals right. abroad because that's possible with K-pop too, mm -hmm. right? I mean, with books, it might be difficult. You need to have that translation. But I think with music, I think uh, the music itself speaks for it. Definitely. So <laughs> thank you very much for that great topic, Yu Jin, and hope to see you soon. Always a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.